Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm eating, um, chocolate pasta. I don't know why it does not make it with the time. It was in the fridge, so it's pretty eating. Anyway, today I'm really excited to do this, um, tutorial, because I'm using my Coastal Scent Palette. There's 88 shadows in here. Um, some of them are, most of them are matte colors. There's a couple, like, um, crazy shimmery ones. Not really, though. But out of this palette, I am going, I don't want to tip it all the way up because one of my shadows is falling off. Need to glue back in there. I'm going to be using this yellow one right here. And then I'm going to be using the black one right there. I mean, actually, those are the only two colors out of the palette that I'm going to be using, but I'm also using another yellow color, and it is by L'Oreal Hip, and it's the Flamboyant Duo. And I just want to use that shimmery yellow because the other one's kind of, um, it's matte, but it doesn't have, I don't want to say pigment because it's pigmented, it's just not not as bright as I would like it and I feel like if I use that one it'll be brighter so I'm gonna go ahead and start I've already primed my lids with Urban Decay so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that yellow and I like seriously this yellow look I don't even like know what to call this yet but it is super um like there's gonna be yellow everywhere like I have yellow on the bottom and top and it comes all the way up to my cat eye so like be sure to like really tap it in there pack it in there pretty thick and like don't be afraid it's gonna look like crazy insane at first but then you know once you start to blend everything and whatever it's not gonna look all crazy um I kind of want to bring this up so I have a guideline to where to start the black color at. And once you have like your whole lid covered with the yellow color from the Coastal Sense palette, well once you might not have the same palette, but I have this one and when I'm done with that yellow one there, I'm going to move on to the yellow in here and put it over make it look a little bit shimmery because as you can see it's kind of just it's pigmented it's there you can obviously see it's yellow but it's just not as bright as I want it to be and to make this look even brighter you can use like a jumbo NYX pencil and mill or you know just a white eyeliner or whatever but I didn't so and yeah just kind of tap this in there and you can pretty much tell instantaneously that it gets brighter as you start tapping this yellow from the flamboyant duo you can like tell like automatically it just gets so much brighter and just continue to tap it in there until you get the desired intensity I like mine pretty freaking obnoxious like go big or go home so And like where you see the yellow meet the skin is where you're gonna place that black shade and like there's just so much involved with that black shade there. And then you're gonna take the yellow from the flamboyant palette and you're just gonna place it like everywhere on your eye. Around the tear duct. Underneath. And like don't worry, this will look like super cleaned up whenever you get done. And then I'm gonna at the end I'm probably gonna pair this with the pink lip. I probably won't do it on camera. Only because I have to go somewhere after I do this, so my sister's moving, so I'm gonna help her pack her house up today. 
And congrats to my sister and my brother-in-law and their kid. They have their forever home. No more renting for them. They bought a home. Brand new. Just built. First people that will live in it will be them. And they will be the last people. So that's how you want that to look. You just want to look like you have like somebody just smacked you in the face with a lemon or something. Maybe not. I think I'll be mad. Anyway. Um... For this part, <clears throat> you're gonna want a really small brush. I have a detail brush, and it's just really, really tiny. Like the point on it is super tiny. It's just a really like it's a super super small brush. And you're gonna take that black color that I showed you, and you're just gonna kind of like roll this in there just to kind of load your brush because you don't want too much on there because at first you want to create a straight line. You want to get it on there clean. Because if you go in there and you're just like, oh, this is what I'm going to do, you know, it's going to be crazy. So, wherever you start placing the eyeshadow is where you're going to get the most. So, I'm going to start on the outside and work my way in so that way I don't have like this thick line going to a thin line because I want it to go from thick to thin, but outward to inward, not inward to out. If that makes sense. I don't even know. Anyway, so where that line. Begins with your skin and the yellow. I'm just kind of placing it on there with a windshield wiper motion. And that's what your line should start out looking like. It's not gonna look like that in the end. I might add a little bit more on this part. Just to kind of start things up. And that's something I'm gonna be talking about too, like going in and kind of like revisiting what you've done on one eye because I do that a lot. It's like, oh wait, I look better if I add a little more. Anyway, so just keep adding on the black until you have your desired intensity um you're gonna want the color to be even all the way down because if not this is gonna kinda look weird because you're gonna have like a lot of this dark color in one spot and not a lot in another and it's, it's I don't know if you don't like even it out <laughs> that looks weird. But yeah, so that's what you want it to look like. You can leave it a little bit lighter towards like this part, obviously, because you don't want to look like somebody hit you in the freaking eye. Um, so then what you're going to do is you're just going to take a clean, fluffy blending brush. This is actually my highlighting brush, but it's cool because I'm going to use this for the highlight and everything like that. So at first, when you start to blend in black, you just want to blend the top of the black line and you don't want to blend it out like too too much because then you're just going to blend it like all the way and once you blend it out a little bit just blend it out like the tiniest bit and then you're going to dip your detail brush back into that black color and just kind of fill it in again so that way you're giving yourself a little more to work with because you're going to want to blend it up. And I don't know why I do this. Like, I don't know if even there's like a method to that madness. I just do it anyway just because that's how I like to apply it. And so blending for this look is going to be super super important because usually I'm not one on like blending my eyeshadows a whole whole lot unless I absolutely need to because in the way that I apply it it kind of just like blends itself because I start with darker colors and then I work my way to the lighter ones but not for this look so for this one it is important to blend So that's what the blended result 
should look like. And like, you always want that smooth, 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 smooth gradation. And I say that about like a lot of things. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Also, in this Coastal Scents palette, there's a neutral color in there, and it's this one right here. We're going to be using kind of blend the black a little more. Just so that way it doesn't look like you have black in the highlight. So this way it like all blends. Like like I said, you get that smooth gradation down and out. So we're going to take, I don't even know what this brush is called. Like it's just, I don't know, this is one of my Essence of Beauty brushes. And it says Smoky Wide on it. And then on the other side it says Essence of Beauty. And it's a double sided brush. And this side... I don't really use this brush that often, like at all really. And then this one I use only for like looks like this. I don't even know what to call this brush. Maybe I should call it a comb head brush or something. I don't know. Anyway. So right on the top of that black you're going to apply this neutral color. Just kind of blend it and get like super smooth gradation. And then just a little bit underneath. So leave it a little bit darker in the middle. Go back with your detailing brush and kind of just fan a little bit of the pigment in. Not a whole lot because you don't want to like overkill it. And then I don't know why I only said I was gonna be using two colors in this closest sense palette when I use like four. Um the last shade that I'm going to use in the closest sense Did you see that? <laughs> Is this white shade. Yeah, this white shade right here. Oh, a little shadow. Why do you keep on going out? My dog probably thinks I'm talking to him. So I'm shadow too. Anyway, so I'm just going to dip that big old fucking brush in there. And make sure you clean this because if you don't clean it and then you dip it in white after using it in black, you're going to have a disaster. And disasters are no fun. And you're just going to sweep this. Seriously, like underneath your brow, just right there. Like just from where the arch is down, and then just kind of blend it inwards because this Coastal Suns palette has like some weird colors and whatever. And the white is just like super, super, super matte white, so I'm not like crazy about using it. And like, matter of fact, this Coastal Suns palette, like, I love it. My friend got it for me for my birthday, but I, like, never use it. And when I do, I'm like, oh, finally, I have it. I've had it for, you know, forever. I never even use it. But I love it. I think I don't use it because I love it. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to use it too much because I won't have any. Whatever, then. So then I'm going to be taking my... Hard candy, walk the line, liquid eyeliner. And the cat eye. And for this cat eye, instead of going up, I want it to go more out. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I do that my eyes different. <laughs> okay. The best way to do it. I guess if you want it to go out instead of up, usually I just go like this and flick it up or whatever, but just draw a line like straight out. And then kind of go from that line and bring it down. And I'm actually. Today for this look, I'm going to be using this eyeliner on the top and the bottom. Oh, I have allergies today. It's just hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. What the heck is that? It's so tired. Okay, but before we use this on the bottom, we are going to use, if I can find it, there it is. 
my um Kat Von D Little Amour eyeliner and we're gonna line the waterline. And to make this look even more like super dramatic, you could put like false eyelashes. And if I were to do false eyelashes with this look, which I can, I just choose not to because I'm just not going to. I don't feel the need. No, I'm just gonna go with my sister pack. But um, if I were to use false eyelashes for this look, I would use them on the top and on the bottom, and do like a bright red lip. And that's for you. Bright red lip is for you guys. Um, I don't look good with like bright red lips or anything like that. So, but those of you who could use it, I would use like a super bright pink. And then like maybe if you want to be cool and you can do the Who's That Chick video and have like the pink around your face, like Rihanna. Be swagging like Rihanna, swagger dagger. And I just draw a line with this brush. From one corner of your eye to the other corner of your eye. And it just kind of creates like more like in-depth look, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to apply your mascara, and I am using Giant Over Slash Blind Lighting Mascara in Blackout by Heart Candy. Don't comb your lashes all one way. And that should be your finished look. Um, once you have applied your eyeliner and your mascara on the bottom, though, I you don't have to do this. I do. I like to go back and revisit the yellow, and I'm just going to bring it all the way up underneath my cat eye and um, a little bit on the lid just to kind of just like because if you want to use the neutral color and you put it underneath it kind of takes away from like the yellow so I just like to go in and kind of like revisit it just pat a little bit in wherever you know you feel you need to. And there you go, that would be the finished result of this crazy coastal scent chrome yellow eyeshadow look. And pretty soon I am going to be doing a link, well not a link, a video for my my favorite. Oh, I thought it was chocolate. So good. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a video for my May favorite um, hair and makeup stuff that I've been using a lot this month that I found myself using a lot this month, but. Anyway, that's the finished look. I will be doing that May video for you soon, and I will see you then.